At P2, we're going to be working with uh, subtraction using a number line. So let's get started here. There's our number line, 0 to 10. Right, I have some objects here that we can use. Now, subtraction, we always start with the biggest number. So let's start with, let's say we start with 5 here. Okay, 5. Right, so we're going to start on 5. I'm going to put my marker right there on 5. Let's say we just subtract 1. So my marker is going to jump backwards, right, towards 0. We're going towards 0 because we're subtracting. So we start at 5 and we jump 1. We land on 4. Pretty easy, huh? What if I start with 5? And I subtract 3. Okay, start at 5. Now you have to jump 3. 1, 2, 3. Who do I land on? I land on 2. Okay? When you're doing this on paper, you can actually... I always circle my number, so I circle the 5. Right? Start with 5 here. Then I jump back 1. And then I put an X and land on 4. On here, I circle 5 and I jump 3. 1, 2, 3. And I put an X here and I land on 2. What if we use a big number like 10? We're going to start with 10 here and we subtract. Let's subtract 4. Remember, you start at 10 and you go 1, 2, 3, Four. What did we land on? That's right, we landed on 6. Okay, so that's right. You start here. I circle my 10. That's where I started. And I jump 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I put an X on 6. Let's try 10 minus... <coughs> Let's go with 8. That's a big number, isn't it? Okay, so we start at 10 up here. Now, if you want to just use an object, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Where did I land? I landed on 2. Now, what I see some of you do when you're doing this, you kind of go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, you have to do one number at a time. So you can't just like go 1, 2, 3, 4. No, thank you. That's wrong. You have to do it one number. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we land it on two. All right, my friends, this is using a number line to subtract. I know you can do it. Easy peasy. All right, have a good day.